What's going on, YouTube fam? This your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. It's free. Show some love and support. Definitely watch the video to the end to hear the full story. If you're new to the fam, subscribe, tap that notification bell for uploads. Let's get right into it. Juveniles and serious charges. We were all growing up and we made mistakes. Whether it's peer pressure from people around us or us rebelling, trying to find ourselves. But besides the petty stuff, like a little smoking and drinking at a high school party, in some cases, juvenile offenses get real. And it's a hard pill to swallow when you are 15 or 16 years old facing a life sentence. Because at that age, no matter how advanced we think we are, we really don't know anything. And a little fun plot with your friends can turn fatal. And on this episode of Hood Tales, I will be taking it to Biloxi, Mississippi to discuss a case involving five teens, a plot for some fast money that turned to a 16-year-old girl being gone, and the other five facing capital hit charges. When Yakeisha Blackman, 17, Willow Blackman, 15, Jasmine Kelly, 15, Jarvis Cook, 17, and Jaquise Porter, 17, all linked up one day, allegedly they came up with a plot to rob someone in the neighborhood for some grass. The teens put their focus on 16-year-old Madison Harris. That day at Madison's home, she had company. Jasmine Kelly and another young man, we were called by his last name, White. The teens were all chilling, having fun, when allegedly the two sisters, Yakeisha and Willow, arrived to the home with two young men. White and Madison were in the back room of the house when the two males came to the window, blick in hand, and told White to open the window. The young man, White recognized the young man holding the blicky by his nickname, Teflon. But the window at the home was broke and did not open all the way. But allegedly, shortly after, the two sisters walked into the back room where White and Madison was at, and Teflon passed the blick to Yakeisha. In a panic, White tried to grab the weapon from her. But during the struggle, the blick discharged with a bullet striking Madison. The sisters then ran out the home and the two young men fled as well. Someone called police stating Madison was hurt and not responding, but they didn't say from what before the phone hung up. Police responded to a home in a 2000 block of Russwood Drive. The five juveniles were running in multiple directions and police canvassed the neighborhood. But Lussie Fire Department went to aid Madison who was suffering from a wound to the hip area. She was rushed to Merritt Health Hospital, but unfortunately would not make it off the operating table as the young lady passed away. White, the young man that was with Madison, told police he felt like 15-year-old Jasmine, who was at the home, first set up the robbery and was not supposed to be at the home at the time. He also was able to pull up the young man with the blick nicknamed Teflon on Facebook. It came back to 17-year-old Jaquez Porter. Surveillance video in the neighborhood caught a red sedan with front-end damage leaving the scene. And the rain doorbell captured video of Yakeisha, Willow, and two young men running, entering the home in the area, with White chasing them. Police soon pulled over a red Toyota Camry matching the car at the scene description. Inside was 17 years old Jarvis Cook, one of the suspects, Soon police went to the home right across the street from the shooting location and found the two sisters, Yakeisha and Willow. Shortly after, Jaquise Porter, aka Teflon, and Jasmine were picked up. The teens told police it was just supposed to be a fun thing, go to the home and steal some grass. But things got out of control when Teflon passed the blick through the window and the struggle started. All five teens were placed on $1 million bond before the charges came out. In the state of Mississippi, capital murder, because of their ages at the time, they would not face the death penalty, but they all faced life in prison if convicted. Once the charges came out, bail was revoked. I'm not sure if they made the trial yet. I couldn't find anything in my research, so they are innocent until found otherwise. Rest in peace to Madison. I definitely send my prayers and condolences to the family. More of this story is for the youth. Be smart enough to know a quick plan can turn into you fighting for your freedom. And if a gun is involved, somebody being gone. 
Never be a follower. Lead by example. It's okay to make mistakes. We all live and learn. But some mistakes you can't come back from. If something sounds too out of pocket, be smart enough to walk away. That doesn't make you weak. And remember, we got to succeed, not to fail. So we won't be just another hood tale. Man, crazy story, you feel me? Rest in peace to Madison, you know what I mean? Her family alleged that the teens were all cool. They was all from the same neighborhood. They was friends. So her peoples was like, they don't understand why they try to set her up or why they try to do that to her. But I don't think they knew it was gonna go that way. I really feel like if it went the way they trying to say it went, the young men involved, they probably ain't think that the blip was gonna go off. And the young men, they messed up from the jump. That's what I'm saying. When you young like that, you feel me? You be thinking on a level of a young kid, you feel me? You not thinking like, if I pass the gun to this girl, that this dude gonna try to grab it and things might get ugly. And that's exactly what happened. He allegedly passed the blick through the window to the young lady, you feel me? Allegedly, the young man that was in the house with Madison tried to grab the blick because he ain't want nothing to happen. He ain't want them to get robbed. He ain't want nothing to happen to him or her. And it went off and it struck Madison. You know what I mean? And it ain't even hit her nowhere like you would think that would be fatal, you feel me? But that's the thing about it. If somebody get hit, they can get hit in the leg, they can get hit in the foot. If it hit and you feel me, they lose enough fluids, you feel me, they can be gone. And that's what happened, you feel me? Messed up situation. And now they charged with capital hit, like I say, you know, in the state of Mississippi, if you under, I think 18, you can't be sentenced to death. You know what I mean? But you can still get a life sentence, you feel me? And now they gotta fight and prove that they innocent or prove that they didn't do it, which they had rain video in the neighborhood. They had surveillance, they had them running. It's a lot stacked up against them, you feel me? Messed up situation all around the board, man. Like I say, we all go through things. We all go through things growing up. You feel me? You live and learn, but some mistakes you really can't come back from, you know, cause if they get convicted, it's over with, man. And a young lady, she lost her life. Ain't no coming back. They home, girl, you feel me? So yeah, man, let me know what y'all think about this one. Be sure to smash that like button. I appreciate you made it to the end. Love, fam, I'm out. Ooh.